Of course, you can have a game without the chosen one himself. I mean, it wouldn't be called a Harry Potter Magic Awakened if Harry Potter himself wasn't present. The great thing about the Harry Potter Echo is that he perhaps is the most true to character and that he can effectively use any spell that is simple to maximum effect. And here's what I mean by that. Spells that are two mana cost, three mana cost, basically three or lower. Anything three or lower, and Harry is going to really excel in just about any mode. Uh, PvE may get a little, little bit overwhelming, but in PvP, as you can see here, this is actually right before I graduate to Hall of Fame status, this duel right here, and it was so much fun. As you'll see, I mean, like I open with a snowball and then I'm just using a deck entirely of a pugno and broomstick and expelliarmus and stupefy. Basically, the spells that Harry Potter himself knows well and uses throughout the duration of the book series to basically defeat the most evil wizard of all time. And that's, you know, there's something to be said certainly for knowing the fundamentals and Harry really excels in this. And of course, as these spells get leveled, and as this echo gets leveled, if I get a drop or a bonus on any of the particular cards that I want to run in my deck, it will continue to excel in every mode. I mean, if you get a really good roll, and what I mean by roll is a selection of cards that will be upped a level. And as you can see in the gameplay, it looks like I'm down, but the beauty of the essence of Dittany having the bonuses that I needed and being able to quickly fire off spells. As you can see, I fire off some birds and then I get a Niffler to cycle back those low mana costs. And Harry is just super good at that. I make quick work here in just a second by vanishing Cassandra with Ivy, which I can't honestly say enough about. Like Ivy really is going to be one of the early game greats. Um, you know, whenever McGonagall comes out, Dumbledore comes out, and a few of the other companions, maybe not so much, but she is just so good at getting rid of Cassandra, which is a real, real early game pain. Um, so luckily I was able to handle Cassandra really well, and Expelliarmus keeps the opponent cycling through their cards, snowballs instantly. I mean, look at how many spells I'm able to fire off. I eat this whiz bang because that's the meta for some reason right now which is basically what it was for a long time on the taiwanese servers uh thankfully that will eventually cycle out but you can see like they summon their freight twins just a little bit too late and i was able to easily take home the victory and the great thing about this again is just how simple it is as long as you can aim as long as you can land your stupefy your expelliarmus you're going to be in good shape with this echo and i can't wait to use it when harry potter magic awaken launches make sure you check out the playlist i'm covering all of the echoes and if you have any questions or concerns about any of them please drop them down in the comments below i will answer every single one thank you so much for your support please check out the etsy shop in the link below for harry potter props and wands and all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next video until next time peace